What's up guys, it's Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. This is game one of the Mudhead FNF tournament, uh, Friday Night Football. Uh, it's a $1,000 tournament, man, and this is a really, really good game I wanted to bring you guys. It's a lesser known guy named PyCam, I'll put his Twitter in the description, make sure you guys check that out. Um, but this is a really, really good game. Uh, you see I'm on offense first. Um, as always, man, if you guys are new, make sure I hit that follow button, uh, subscribe button, and make sure you guys, uh, make sure you guys keep dropping likes for me, man. You guys have been awesome, awesome, awesome. I can't describe how great you guys have been. Um, and I've been getting so much love, so I just want to pray that you guys would keep that up. And please, please keep doing that, man. I appreciate y'all for that. Now let's jump into this video. You guys saw right there, I took a bad sack. Um, I was trying to get away just to throw it away, and he clicked on and dove. And it put me behind the sticks, man. That's a tough spot to be in. Um, so it made it a second and 25 instead of being a second and 10. And he does a really good job of blitzing. And uh, we end up punting the ball away. So he gets a good stop first. Um, didn't really miss much. Except I didn't have vibration on. For some reason it was off, and there was an awful punt because of it. So that's that's actually going to become a huge key later in the game. Just keep it, remember, my vibration's off, so I can't tell where the sideline is and like where like the field goals are missing, stuff like that. So just remember that, all right? Don't forget. So right here, we get a good job. We do a good job against the run, and then we get a big time sack there. Uh, put him behind the sticks. Basically doing the same thing he did to me, man. When you put someone behind the sticks, it's really really hard to recover from. And uh, we end up getting another sack, and he's got to punt the ball back. So we're even on stops. Um, we were able to make up for our blunder, our, our sack that we took that we shouldn't have taken, and uh, we're able to bounce back from that. So right here, he sends he sends the dogs, and uh, we're able to hit our in route on the backside. Pick up about eight there, so good job by Odell hanging on to that ball. Next play here, we go to pace lock corner. Literally everything and their mom is open. I could have picked any route. But he was able to use a rush and run around behind, run around my entire line, and uh, was able to get the sack. So big play by him. Uh, but we we're able to get the first down the next play. So ends up being okay. Next play here, we go back to PA. Um, sorry about the sirens, guys. If you guys can hear them, you guys know me. You guys gotta love the fact that I always have sirens on in my video. Um, it's pretty much my specialty. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are new, welcome to the sirens. We live in Baltimore. If you guys aren't new, um, well, you guys know what's good with me. <laughs> so, regardless, we get down the one-yard line. You guys know what it is on this patch. If you're on the one-yard line, please, 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 I'm begging you, run anything, anything but sneak, and I will guarantee that your opponent will laugh at you. Okay? Run sneak. That's all I can say. Run QB sneak. It's very, very good. Uh, so, right now, we're we're even on stops. We both have been stopped one time. Um, he was in... Uh, why off trips out of Pat's the first possession he got stopped right away really easily and he said you know what I'm off that I'm going to trips tight end he actually had a good trips tight end man uh, this guy did a really really good job of simply mixing up his play calls um, he didn't just call the meta plays he didn't just pass the ball every play like he mixed in runs as you see there and he had good stick work with it too uh, he mixed in weird screen plays from his running back and his receiver. He mixed in different route combos that I wasn't used to seeing out of trips tight end. Um, so he really gave me some trouble. And you guys can see right now, he's toting on me right now. Um, having a lot of trouble stopping the run. And he's doing a good job of just staying with it. Right here, he goes to PA counter go um, with a motion over Y route. I did that a lot last year. I thought it was a little bit better last year. Um, but it looked decent right there. So good play by him. Like I said, he goes to wide receiver screen. This guy was just doing a really good job of mixing up his play calls, man. There was an, I, I couldn't guess what he was doing on a given play. I like when I'm playing a top player, like I might know what routes they're gonna do, and those routes may be tough to stop, but I usually know what they're gonna do. I had no idea what this guy was gonna do, and it really threw me off. So right there, we thought we we thought we had an open post, but we got a weird pass lead. It didn't go down like I had hoped, and we didn't hang on. And then right there, his cloud played that zig crazy good. So a couple unluckyish pass leads, I guess you could say, uh, puts us in the third and ten. But right there, we catch him sending that flat. Um, something for next game, I'm going to talk about. Uh, make sure you guys check it out. It's going to be a game against uh, Decroft. It's coming up after this game. It's something that he was doing. He was sending that outside corner a lot, and I'll talk about that. But just make sure you guys keep in mind when I drop that video to check it out, just so you guys can see where the why I do that motion over to stop people from doing that blitzing outside guy there. But enough with that. We'll talk about that in that game. Just wanted to mention it here. Uh, we're throwing lasers left and right. I mean, 
Stanley Steamer would be proud. Um, but moving the ball right there, we missed our wheel route because we were looking at Y. We saw he didn't man up Y, but it was a little bit congested in there. And uh, so we ended up just taking our sack. Probably could have taken our wheel, gotten a first down, and gotten a few chucks at the end zone. But regardless, we get our three before half, which was good enough for me. So right out of halftime, thing we just got to get a stop. As long as we get a stop, um, we'll be going grand. We're going to be in great position to win. But if he scores, then we're in, then we're in some trouble. So this is a really big possession. Uh, we cross man the outside guy. He playmakers the guys manned up, and he ags my life. It was perfect defense. Literally everything was boxed. He threw it right to me and gets the good animation so tough break for us there uh, he goes back to pa here um and throws a nice little laser like i said he kept both post routes on his pa play there that's rare you don't see that too often um so i mean like i said the guy did a good job mixing up his plays man he ran draw he ran inside zone he ran screens did a lot of different things and it threw me off. There's another screen right there. Just doing different things to throw me off gave me trouble all game and I can't knock him for it. If you're gonna if you're gonna do a good job with your play calls, I'm gonna commend you for it. Right there, third and six runs the ball. Was not expecting that at all. Was set up one million percent plus one for the pass and he runs the ball and was able to get a first down that third down. So tough break there. He goes to stretch here, gets down to the two. Now I'm thinking three sneaks if I'm him. Sneak, 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 sneak. Now he doesn't think that. I don't know why he doesn't go to sneak here, uh, but he goes to dive out of tight slots. He gets, he gains a yard, which should be another sneak. Doesn't go to it. Big mistake by him. And we pop that thing. Probably could have been a fumble at Shanti, but he goes to the field goal and it's fake field goal. Unbelievable. Guys, if you know me, if you watch my stream, I am always in safe, man. I never, ever, ever, ever try to block a field goal ever and I'm in field goal safe and somehow he gets a fake field goal off I'll never understand that what's the point of fake if it doesn't stop the fake but regardless we have the ball back we're down four we need to go get seven um we, we throw a drag he a little bit overruns his user right there probably wasn't the best read we tested him um but we able to get the completion anyways we make a late late read to our playmaker to hitch. It goes out of bounds. I'm not mad at that. It was a late read. Um, but we were able to hit our in route right there and pick up a first down anyway, so not a big deal. Ever since our first possession, both players have played really well offensively. We both maybe a little bit of jitters, maybe a little bit of not knowing what to expect on defense. Uh, gave us some trouble, but after that, it was smooth sailing. We had great passing percentages, each of us. Uh, so right there, um, we had a nice little dot, but we got knocked out, and then... Right here, we hit our drag route. Quick little spin out of Odell. Um, and we get ourselves a touchdown. Right here, I fall for the PA 100%. And the play is actually boxed if I had just used that other post. Uh, but I didn't use it because I didn't get back there in time because I had fallen for the PA. But regardless, we were able to knock it out. But small round and in route, I couldn't get back to it in time. And he throws another laser. So, like I said, man, like he just did different things that I wasn't expecting on top of running the ball. And with good timing and good timely play calls, he was able to give me a ton of trouble. So, right there, back to the run. We are able to blow it out somehow. I don't know how we blew it out. We really didn't have much pressure on the run there. Um, but he goes back to the pass here. Another screen. Like I said, man, I I don't really know like how to prepare for someone that does like, plays like this when, when most of my friends don't play like that. So, it's hard to get practice for that. So, what I've been trying to, like, what I was just trying to do was trying to pick up on his tendencies of when he was going to go to what but to be honest with you it's hard to do because usually you've played people so if you play someone a bunch you're like all right you're gonna run a bunch the same way my buddy runs a bunch this guy ran trips tight end like i had never seen before so and that's not a knock on him by any means he had a lot of success with him i told him that after the game i said hey like you played a really good game and you did a good job with your play calling i told him that straight up because he really did um right here first and ten big play here i mean big drive here i should say um, because he's in field goal range, so I'm thinking, all right, well, he's got his tie game. I just got to make sure not to give up a touchdown. Uh, right there, maybe could have got a rack egg if he threw it a little bit earlier, but a little bit of a late read. Next play, he goes back to the run. We finally blow up his run, force a fourth and five. And uh, right here, I thought we played perfect defense, but we just couldn't get the animation to, to knock the ball down. So, picks up another first down. Tough break there for us. I thought we played pretty good defense, but our guys just didn't 
he did make the play for me. Um, and now I'm thinking to myself, honestly, I kind of want him to score here. I need time myself to go drive. So I'm thinking, like, I kind of want him to score here. And he runs the ball, and he does score. So I'm like, all right, that's cool. At least I have time to go get seven myself. Um, but this is this is when the craziness happens, boys. Uh, right here, we take our drag. Everybody got out of bounds. So six yards, able to stop the clock. So that's cool. Right here, we're really, really trying to pick up a big chunk here with our corner route. And he gives it to us, and Vic sells us. Unbelievable. Perfect play call. We're able to get exactly what we wanted and just didn't make it happen. So right here, we take our wheel route and get right out of bounds. We, I just want to make sure, get the first down, keep the chains moving, then you can get back to picking up chunks. Um, right here, he gives us the corner route again, and this time Vic doesn't overthrow it. And we get out of bounds again, so we're doing a great job. All three completions out of bounds. It's almost getting to the point now where clock doesn't even matter as much because we get a fourth down and get out of bounds. We're inside the 30. We have a timeout. Clock isn't that big of a deal anymore. Right here, we have our S post perfect read and oh tell can't come down with it that was a heartbreaker i go back to the same play because i saw he couldn't cover the s post and the the crosser um sorry no I, my bad my mistake i went to verticals it got blown up now i go to the same exact play that i just had and i have my cross my s post but i expect him to break back i had just thrown the s post i expected him to break back so i thought i was gonna get a touchdown from the crosser and he didn't break back, so great user, but guess what? He gets cheated to infinity. He gets a safety. I couldn't believe it, man. He got cheated bad. I told him after. I was like, yo, I felt so bad. I was so sorry. I don't know what happened, guys. He literally got cheated so bad. But I still need to pick up a big chunk of yards. So right there, I tried to throw my S post, just trying to pick up any type of big chunk I can to get into field goal range. Um, I don't have any more timeouts. So right here, I try to go to my, my corner route. I probably could have thrown my post and gotten into field goal range, but don't take it. Not the best read I mean, but really I was trying to get out of bounds. Um, but really, we're just trying to make anything we can happen here. Anything, make anything happen. And right here, we throw the laser of a lifetime from Michael Vick. Could not believe we fit in that window. And like I told y'all before, we had to kick a field goal without vibration. I couldn't tell if I was going to make it or not, but we knocked it down, boys. Crazy game. We got super lucky at the end. We did get a little unlucky early, but it did not even come close to equaling how bad he got lucky. He got the game when it stopped. Had a good user, which I did not expect him to have on that play. I expect him to use her differently. He gets the pick, and he gets rewarded with a safety and a loss, man. Madden's tough sometimes. Sometimes it's good for you. Sometimes it's bad. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Peace.